In today's video guys, Nintendo was holding a Nintendo eShop Cyber Deal sale and it's been going on for a few weeks now. In today's video guys, we're going to talk about the best deals to pick up before it ends sometime later tonight into tomorrow. Alright, starting this list off, we have some key things to know. Now, the key things to know, as you see, there's a check mark over a Switch, and there is a X icon over a 3DS, and that is a big upsetting thing for the sale, that there is no 3DS games on sale. I think it's at the point now where, like, the 3DS is just not going to have sales anymore, so you might want to buy these games on digital, because they're freaking ridiculous, physical, so we'll talk about that in a different video, but... No 3DS games are on sale in this Nintendo eShop end of the year cyber sale. Multi-platform games are better on other consoles. I'm going to put that out real quick. If you are looking for The Witcher or Doom or something like that, and you have a choice between Nintendo and PlayStation or Xbox, go with the other consoles because they are more optimized and they play it better. But many first-party Switch games on sale. So yes, you can see Kirby and you can see Mario, you can see Donkey Kong. There's some good Switch exclusives on sale. And the sale ends 3 a.m. Eastern Time, 12-5-2022. So what that means is tonight into tomorrow. That's why I'm trying to get this video out as quick as possible, but in the right way. So we're going to talk about some first-party Switch games on sale. As you can see, every one of these games on this page right here is 30% off so every game on here is a Nintendo Switch exclusive and it's a first party Nintendo Switch game it took me a while to do which one's a first party and third party with this whole video but this is definitely I know for a fact first party Switch games starting list off we have Kirby's Star Allies Kirby Star Allies is a very unique Kirby game you actually have like these little buddies that follow you around and I think they're they literally attach to you and they have to fight with you it's very unique it reminds you of Pikmin a little bit but it's Kirby but it's very underrated in my opinion that's Kirby Star Allies up next we have Legend of Zelda Zelda Skyward Sword HD remake. So this is the actual funny thing about this video. This was on sale for $30 on Switch the other day, physical on Best Buy. And that was a really hard one to miss because it was, it was really, you know, that's a really good deal. If you missed it though, for a little bit more money, you can still get it for $41.99, just like Kirby. Uh, yes, let, Skyward Sword is from the Wii. It's it's got the motion controls. It, it's very fun. It's a very good Zelda game. And uh, it's still on sale until tonight. Up next, we have New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. This is the one that really started on the Wii U. Well, the Wii had the a red box, I call that. And the blue box is on the um, Wii U. This is the yellow box, we call them. My girlfriend and I call them by the little box covers because there's so many versions of it. This is what Navit and everything, Luigi's, uh, you, everything. If you like side scroll Mario, you grew up in the 90s, you're going to love this. Up next, we have Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3 is a game I'm dying to play. I really need to play this game. I did play the first one back in the day. This is a great price for this game. Uh, you're probably not going to beat it unless you find it on eBay or somewhere cheaper, but this is a great deal, Luigi's Mansion 3. I would definitely pick that one up. Up next, we have Mario Tennis Aces. Okay, so if you have the motion controls, I would recommend this fully. I don't see it as the same game, but if you have the tennis rackets and all that stuff, or you just want to play it like with the controller, which I, I prefer the motion controls, it's definitely a good deal for $42. Up next, we have Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I'm not a huge Fire Emblem fan. I'm trying to get into it more. But if you are a Fire Emblem fan, this is probably your best bet for the Switch versus the other one that literally is on the $20 already. But this is obviously the real deal for Fire Emblem. Up next, we have Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. This is another port from the Wii U. This is one of the best games on the Wii U, and they brought it to the Switch. Uh, I love 3D Mario World. By the way, I say Mario, or not Mario. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, I know. But yes, this game is awesome. I didn't play the Switch version to know what the Bowser's Fury is, but I'm sure it's good. So all the games I just named are 30% off, $60. They're all $42 a piece. But remember, these are Switch games that never go on sale, period. Up next, we have some Switch console exclusives on sale. So these are ones that are actually not their first party Switch games, but they are third party only on the Switch, if that makes sense. They're only on the Switch. Now, I'm going to add this real quick. PC and Android and stuff like that does not count for this because... Obviously, they're probably on there, some of the games, so keep that in mind. Starting list off, we have Layton's Mystery Journey, Cottrell, and the Millionaire's Conspiracy. I think I actually said that right. This game was on the, on the 3DS, was ported for the, to the Switch. It has all the DLC included. Let me tell you something real quick, guys. The Professor Layton series needs to come to the Switch because those games are becoming way too expensive, and they are really good if they come to the Switch. So keep that in mind. I'll be making videos about like games I'm going to predict for the Switch and stuff like that. So... That's one of the biggest things is the Professor Layton series. So hopefully they bring it. But $24 for this one is not bad at all. Up next, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. This is a, the third installment in the Marvel Alliance series. And just like Bayonetta, it's literally an exclusive for the Switch. You can't get it on PlayStation or Xbox, which is pretty crazy. I don't even think it's on mobile or anything. But yeah, it's exclusive. 
Uh, if you like the first two, you're gonna like the third one. Uh, this one didn't score as high, or maybe it did. I don't know. You'll see here. But yeah, there's Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 Black Order. Up next, Monster Hunter 2 Stories Wings of Ruin. Like Pokemon and Monster Hunter. It's literally the turn based Pokemon style with a Monster Hunter kick to it. It's very charming and very fun. Up next, we have Rune Factory 4 Special Edition and Rune Factory 5. You see the prices here? These two games are meant for the people who like Harvest Moon and Fantasy Life and stuff like that and Stardew Valley, but there's more combat in these games. So if you missed Rune Factory 5 on the Switch on sale on Black Friday, it's still digitally $30 if you need to pick it up. Up. up next we have one of the most underrated switch games on this list and in general astral chain astral chain is made by the creators of platinum games made bayonetta wonderful 101 all those good games this game is over the top it's very unique definitely pick this one up it's very hard to find physical just like the latent game up next we have disney magical world 2 the enchanted edition my girlfriend and i love disney magical world 1 from the 3ds they brought the second one and this one is a bigger version of the second one this is excellent. This is a very big, big thing to come to the Switch. And I really hope they bring a third one. Up next, we have Bravely Default 2. This is the sequel to the Bravely Default 1 game on the 3DS. That's very difficult to find. Uh, I played a good amount of Bravely Default 1, and I can tell you the combat's very different. It's turn-based with some sort of mechanic, but... It's a good one. If you like Bravely Default, it's your chance now. Up next, I'm not really supporting this price too much. This is Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope Gold Edition. But then again, it is $60 for the actual game itself. So for $70.19, you're probably getting a season pass. You'll see here what it comes with. If that's the case, that's probably pretty good then. But that's just if you really want the whole version of it. Because the other ones I don't sell for some reason. And finishing off for this page, we have Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. This game goes on sale a lot. Uh, physical uh, for $35.99. If you really want this game, I guess you can pick it up for this price. Careful with that. But um, yeah, that's up to you. That's one of the games I was not sure about to put on this list. But it's there. By the way, keep in mind, if you have Nintendo coins... Make sure you use it on this sale because you'll get even better deals. Up next, we have some multi-platform games. This is going to be ones that are going to be on the Xbox, the PlayStation, and so on. Starting list off, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a Calabunga collection. There's no introduction to this game. This game is one of the best collections they could have made. $28. It's, a, it's around the Black Friday price. All the other games in a physical format have gone up, so you might as well get it here while you have a chance. And it started on Nintendo, by the way. Up next, we have the Immortals Phoenix Rising, the Gold Edition. Now, I know the other version was $10 on Black Friday. Friday, but this is the gold edition and this is like the complete version with a lot of dlc challenge rooms and extra uh, story content if i had to define what this game is it's more like zelda and i would say assassin's creed it's very cool up next we have doom eternal for about 15 bucks here that's not too bad if you like doom obviously it's gonna be optimized much better on the ps5 and series x this is one of those games on this list so far i would definitely go for that but if you have a switch only it's definitely a good game up next we have need for speed hot pursuit remastered again it's probably going to look a little worse on the Switch, but it's still very, very good on the Switch, I'm sure. And it's $8, and it's one of the best Need for Speed reboots. Up uh, Max is one of my favorite racing games in a very long time. This is Hot Wheels Unleashed, and this is the Game of the Year edition. I'm going to put on the screen right here what this comes with. Hot Wheels is probably the most arcadey racing game I've played since Blur. It's insane. Up uh, Max, Saints Row the Third. This is the uh, full edition. This game is on sale for $7.99, guys. This is one of the better Saints Row that just got released, and get, get this one. If you like Grand Theft Auto, it's pretty much what it is, but it's with a twist. Up next, we have one of the biggest games on this list, but keep in mind, this is a crucial, crucial one not to get on the Switch if you have other consoles. Yes, it's $20 for the gold or complete edition right now on the Switch, but you have to realize if you have a PlayStation or Xbox, there is a, a patch coming out to the new gen consoles for the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt complete edition, and it's literally making it insanely better. So just uh, keep that in mind. Have a Switch only, like, that's fine, but I'm saying make sure you look into the other consoles for this game because there's going to be a better version on that side of things if that makes sense up next we have burnout paradise remastered that's one of the better racing games as well it's a very good arcade racing game from 09 i think it was 2009 uh burnout needs to come back and make a comeback for real three masters great up next we have one of the most infuriating games i've ever played it's dark souls remastered uh i have like I love to play Dark Souls, but I torture myself by playing it, and I, I beat it so many times, and I platinum the game. I love Dark Souls. I don't know how it's on the Switch. I know a lot of people threw their Switch probably from a boss fight, probably the double boss fight in the middle of the game. where you th I'm sure I've seen, I'm sure there's stories about it. Probably really fun on the Switch, and it probably it's really cool for them to have it on the Switch, seriously. Up uh, next, we have Nina Kune Remastered. This is a, a Disney type of game. This feels like Disney, and for $10, that's a really good deal. Uh, it's, it's very charming, I would say. Up next, we have Elder Scrolls Skyrim 5. This is a $30 uh, price tag here. I don't know about 
that if you don't have like i said this is another witcher thing if you have other consoles it's gonna be better on there because this has a ps5 port and a series x but yeah skyrim is skyrim up next we have south park fractured butthole gold edition uh guys are going home there you go yes i love south park love voice impressions that stuff uh I don't know. but yeah seriously though south park can't wait to play this and i i'm gonna recommend this one to you guys too because south park games are really fun i heard and I played a good amount of it, so I know. Up um, next, we have the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. If you miss it on sale, it's right there under $40. Right there, $35. And it comes with all the Star Wars episodes in a one Lego game. It's pretty cool. And last, but I would say least, but certainly maybe not least, is Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. This is a weird price for $30. I don't know if they fixed it, but if you, if you don't have a PlayStation or Xbox, once again... And you have Grand Theft Auto on the go. That's that sounds fun. Seriously, that's that's his list. Up next, guys, we have some indie games, some top-notch indie games on sale. Little Nightmares One and Two is like the it's so unique. It's like Coraline the movie, and it's like a platformer. So if you like the if you like that kind of thing, it's really fun. And the first one and the second one are a great price right now. And the first one's the complete edition, by the way. We have the classic Klonoa Fantasy Revere series, and this one's on the Switch. I'm pretty sure this is on other consoles as well, but. It's an indie game, and Klonoa from the Wii was really fun. Up next, we have one of the most underrated games in this video today, Hat in Time. This is like Super Mario Odyssey with a really big twist to it. I would say this is like your Saturday morning cartoon in the 90s. It's really cool. Up next, we have Indivisible. Indivisible is a very charming and funny game. It's a turn-based, very, very unique type of game. And uh, it's really funny, seriously. Up next, we have Dorman Story of Seasons. Uh, okay, my girlfriend likes this kind of stuff. This is like your Harvest Moon type of game for Story of Seasons. But I think this one's more on the Story of Seasons side of things than Harvest Moon. Let me know in the comment section below about that one. But I, I wanted to recommend that. It's not a bad price. And by the way, these prices on this list here are all really good, by the way, on this page here. Up next, we have Death's Gambit. I picked this one because I, it really looks like Castlevania or something really close to Salt and Sanctuary. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but this game looks really good, so I, I recommend that. And I've seen the reviews. Up next, A Boy and His Blob. This is a classic Wii game, and it's very, very unique. Very hard to explain, but it's you have to like take control of a blob and a boy. It's very confusing, and it's it's like... Very, I say it's very like puzzle like as well. Up next, we have Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons. This is pretty much the prequel to A Way Out and It Takes Two. If you like those games, you're gonna like this one probably. Up next, we have Super Meat Boy. Oh, this game is the other infuriating game on this list. Yeah, Dark Souls is version of a platformer. The Super Meat Boy, little smiling with the missing tooth right there, as you see. Uh, yeah, classic. Definitely like it. Up next, speaking of classic, we have the Disney classic game, Aladdin Lion King. Now, this one's on sale for $9.99. Uh, I'm going to put on the screen the Jungle Book ones included with it. If it's not, you're not going to see on the screen, obviously. But this is classic at its most. This is literally Aladdin and Lion King from Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Uh, there's nothing else I can say. Up uh, next and final is the Cuphead. I chose the Cuphead with the actual DLC pack. So for $20, you can get both Cuphead and the Delicious Course. That's an excellent deal. I was going to do it, but then I realized there's a physical copy coming out in, like next week. So tread carefully with that one. I would definitely pick the uh, physical but it's there if you want a digital. Up next, we have the visual novels on sale. These are really, really unique games that you read and do choice making. But there's two particularly on this list, the first two, that actually have gameplay and actually have a lot of gameplay to it. And that's Danganronpa Trigger Happy uh, Havoc Anniversary Edition and Danganronpa V3 Harmony Anniversary Edition. So pretty much you're getting Danganronpa... And I don't know if the other one's on here. I could only find this one. But yes, if you want to start the first Danganronpa, it's $3.99. It's $2.99. If you see the second one, it'll be on this video right now. And the third one, it, these games are incredible. The, the mystery solving of who killed who. It, it, it's got courtroom stuff, trial. It reminds me of Professor Layton mixed with... Um, Phoenix Wright, which, speaking of that, that's on this list. We're going to get to that in a minute. Up next, we have Steins Gate Zero, Steins Gate Elite, and Steins Gate The My Darlings Embrace. If you liked Steins Gate, get these now because these games physically are going to go so high one day. I'm serious because these games uh, probably already have. Uh, these are strictly visual novels, by the way, but I hear great things about them. Up next, we have the Ace Attorney Turnabout Collection, the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, and the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. A lot of Ace in there. These games are pretty much your courtroom setting thing with trials and all kinds of stuff, and, like, you have to prosecute them and, like, objection, and, like, you have to literally, like, make sure you can, like, bust a criminal, and I'm pretty sure uh, there's a lot of gameplay to it because it's known for that, but that's those three games. Uh, they're all very unique. 
Up next and final is AI1 and AI2. AI games are so difficult to find. These are your closest Danganronpa clones you can find, but that's for a great reason. I hear nothing but great things about these games. I'm very close to starting the first one finally, but if I had to pick anything that has gameplay on this vi on this list that's on sale, it's the Danganronpa games and the AI games. And I'll put the Ace Attorney after that, and then if you just want to read something, it's pretty much Steins Gate. But let me know in the comment section below what your favorite visual novel is on this out of these 10 games. And last but not least, we're going to finish off with some Atlas games. Atlas has one of the best companies if you like storytelling and puzzles and all kinds of great stuff. So we're going to start with Persona 5 Strikers. If you love uh, hack and slash games, but this is more like Dynasty Warriors or Hyrule or uh, the Fire Emblem Warriors. But this is probably the best one story-wise. And this also is much less repetitive than the other ones as well. So yeah, for pick up strikers you don't have it up next persona 4 arena ultimax not the biggest fan of this game i've played the demo I've, I've played it before back on 360 i think it was uh i'm more into the actual story rpg persona i think this has cutscenes, but it, it's not for me but i'm sure you guys will like this if it's uh if you're a persona fan for this one particularly up next we have persona 5 royal this is the real deal this is the complete version of persona 5 uh yeah it was on sale on black friday much cheaper but if you somehow missed it it's still here for that price 45 dollars a little steep but it's 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 worth it trust me up next we have the shimigami tensai 3 nocturne hd remaster and shimigami tensai 5 digital deluxe edition we'll start with the um nocturne game first nocturne's a little above price uh you can find it in the store physical but if you want a digital, uh, it's not the greatest looking because it's from PS2, which I understand. But it does have that Persona feel because it's where it started pretty much. And then the other one is the fifth game. This is the Persona 5 clone, I would say, off this list. Uh, problem is, this is the digital deluxe edition. You, can, you The other one's not on sale. So keep that in mind. I'm sure you guys saw it was at Walmart when I made that video. It was $25. That was a steal. But this for $45 with... You'll see a DLC it comes with, so that's pretty cool. And last on this video, but certainly not least, is Catherine Full Body. If you played Catherine on the 360 or the PS3, you'll know what Catherine is. Catherine is the closest persona in terms of story and characters I've ever seen. The puzzles in this game, the, the boss fights with the puzzles, the blocks you push, it's so unique, and I can't spoil that one, so that is the last one. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. That was a pretty lengthy one to talk about all the actual games I would pick up on a sale before it ends tonight going into tomorrow this sale honestly is one of the best nintendo sales i've seen i'm sorry i didn't do it a little earlier i was doing a lot of other black friday videos i was doing uh, so much stuff but i wanted to get this in there in the daytime before it ends so you have a lot of time to get the games if you see this video early uh this sale's phenomenal it's got your visual novels it's got atlas games it's got exclusives it's got third party multi-platform i remember the whole thing when i'm looking at it, it's how good it was so many great deals. Some of the prices are a little steep, like Sparks of Hope and the Shigamagami Tensei 5 Deluxe Edition. But you gotta realize they are Deluxe Editions for a reason and Gold Edition. But let me know in the comment section below which game you're gonna pick up, what your favorite game on this list today was. Are you gonna skip this sale? Are you gonna wait for another sale? Stay tuned, guys. I have a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 collection video coming out tomorrow in the afternoon. And stay tuned for the Nintendo Switch collection, followed by on probably around Wednesday. So stay tuned to that. I'll have videos all week. Hope you guys are ready. Pumping the content out. It's really fun, guys. I really appreciate your support. We're close to 500 subscribers, which is insane. Uh, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, stay positive. Most of all, stay safe, and peace out, guys.